Hi guys, this is Nemo Dame. Welcome back. This is the second part of the video. We had just finished editing the launcher any on the last part of the uh, video. We got all those put to the proper direction, hopefully. Now we're going to do uploading the new build. I've been working on this for two days. So I've had some issues with my local system, but all that seems to be just limited to me. A big shout out to Code Spartan. Really helped me a lot, and I, I can't thank them enough. So what we're going to do now is we're going to need to, in the uploader, you're going to upload game upload exe and wait till it's finished. This was the part I was having trouble with. It's it would get to 99% and then just stick there. And I could do smaller files under 250 meg, and then larger files would have issues. So I've either isolated it down to my ISP or the something on this Windows new Windows 10 install. My older system with Windows 8 with the upgrade. It sets behind me on a different ISP works fine. I've done it twice today, so we know it's working. But anyway, we're going to go through the steps. I know it works. Uh, Code Spartan's got it to work. I've got it to work on my other system. It's just this system's a little funky. So, without further ado, let's get on down through it. I'm going to move that out of the way. So basically, what we have here is you, you should have your uh, wherever you packaged your game. That's what I have here set up. I just whatever you want to call it. This is holding the full game. Uh, that has been packaged through the editor. I have the launcher and we're going to uh, use the game uploader here and this is going to upload it to our server. Uh, then you should have a temporary folder wherever you want to put your temporary folder and it's going to use this folder to put it up. Here's is, This is the settings of my any and as you can see here that points to the pack this folder package. This one points to my temporary and of course, I hid the username, password, etc. And this is going to go to the launcher. All right, and let me show you the launcher. All right, here we are looking inside. I'm using File Manager. This is my hosting site. Uh, basically, I've set it up below the public HTML. This is where I installed uh, the launcher folder. This is where we're going to have our up upload go to. And this is the folder it's going to make. It's called New Update. It'll put the information in there. Actually, this one's empty. Once it finishes uploading, it's a zip file. It, it'll create here in your temporary directory and then it's going to upload it here and then it'll unzip it and put it in the game directory. Once it's in the game directory then you're ready for download. But anyway, so the, just to make sure when you're pointing to this path wherever you've made your or whatever you named your folder or wherever you put it generally on this side of the public HTML is a good spot. Uh, you can just put a forward slash. Let me show you. Where's my You can uh, usually get away with just a forward slash. Uh, right here I have forward slash launcher and make sure I had a forward slash at the end and that's pointing right there to that directory. So that's how I got it to work. Uh, do not put a slash on the end of these. Uh, that was the first mistake I made that got straightened out. Uh, so Code Spartan made a comment on it up there. Alright, let me clean this off and we're going to get started. Pause the video. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to launch the game uploader. go. It's going to get the hashtags, it's going to compress it, and it's going to start uploading and when it's done it, it loads up to XML and it, all operations and this is what you wish you would see. This actually went really quick because I have stripped this down to nothing because it is like 2 meg. I just wanted to go through the process so you can see it. When you do it you'll have a huge file here that will be zipped and it, you didn't even get to see it. It was so small. But essentially that's what you want to get. You need to get all op operations complete and then hit any key to escape. If you don't get this far or something, right here is where I was getting hung up on the 99% that we had to track down. But if you want to get through all this, uploading XML done, operations complete, and hit that. It'll close it out, it'll clean out your temporary folder, and then it has successfully been loaded up to the server. Then you can go inside your bin, or your launcher, I, I named it bin, sorry about that. And then you would go down inside your launcher. Now we're, we're ready to uh, launch it. I've already tested this, so it's going to get a checking for updates, games. There we go. So this is essentially, it's, I've already tested, it did load down, but anyway, you would launch it now, and it had, has went to my control, or my web hosting provider. I can straight a minute and downloaded it, and it's ready to play. So next time, anytime we make any alterations, it would go up and just upload that part. All right. Now we're going to get it 
set up on the server. All right, let's stop here. Uh, we got ahead of myself just a little bit. We forgot to do one more step. Uh, we got to make sure that you log into the control panel and click deploy new version. And then what it'll do is it extract everything. And then once it's through, it's going to uh, say it's not anything else to deploy. And then you'll actually be done. So what, essentially what you would do is, here's how mine looks. Uh, my website, remember I put it in the folder launcher. So whatever uh, folder you have. And then you can look for the index PHP. Um, or you don't really have to type it. It should run it by default, but I always type it by habit. And then it's going to pull up your control panel here or your login. And then you would just log in. Be sure to change your password. And then from here you would see deploy new version and you would simply click on it and then uh, it would deploy it. This takes a little bit so don't let it, um, don't close this out or don't run away from it and let it finish up. And then once that's done and then I'm going to go, we're going to go over and deploy it on the server and test everything out. All right, we'll see you on the other side. All right, we're on the other system over here. This is my old system that I had upgraded from. And what we've done is I now have the server. I'm going to host the server over here. So I have the server over here and the chat server. But uh, basically when we packaged um, the original kit, this is just all that's in it. And you made the binaries. You remember you had to go to Visual Studio first and compile your, your server. So this is that server right there, which I just brought over here. And this is just saved over here, and I have a shortcut to it. Remember, you would edit the shortcut and put dash local at the end so that we can see uh, the log window. All right, not shortcut, excuse me. At the edit the shortcut at the end, put dash log. Let me just show that real quick. And then right here at the end, put dash log. That's going to give us the window. All right, so we're going to launch the chat server. I know that, sorry, I'm about this text. It's a little bit small and hard to see. All right, so we're waiting for the connection. So the chat server is up. From here, we're going to launch the server. The server will connect to there. And it's up and running and running. It's filling up the memory. All right, so we, everything's ready here. We have a status OK. And then I'm going to go back to the other section, or other section, other, other system. And we're going to connect over there, and I'll be, we'll be right back over here. So I'm going to pause the video here. All right, guys, we're back on the other system here. Uh, a quick thing I needed to point it out that I had uh, I'd made a boo-boo. Um, I'll make a notation earlier in the other part of the video. But here where it says game, you want to leave it to say game. Because in the launcher, when you, when you download the file from your server, it's going to put it in a folder called game. So here's where it automatically puts it. So the first part of this path is always going to be game. And then Windows No Editor, or whatever you call it inside. So we look inside of here, and there's there's my exe it's looking for. Whatever you named it there. So you do need game there. I put Soul, Bounder, Soul Binders Online in the other one, and that was a boo-boo. I, I just want to update you on that. I'll make a notation. So we're going to reduce this out of the way. So I've downloaded, we've downloaded our game with the launcher, and it's ready to play. Simply hit play, and it's going to log in. There we go. We're going to use this guy, if I can remember how to type. And this should, this would be connecting to the server, which is actually running on another system behind me on a different ISP. And there we go. The guy's inside the server. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause you on this. <laughs> I'm going to pause this on this one. And we're going to go take a look on the other side. And we come back over here. And as you can see, he is propagated on the server. There's his name. He's got all his inventory, the items on him, etc., etc., etc. That's what we want to see. And if you look up here in the chat window, new guy has logged in. All right, so we know that the game has been packaged put up on our site, downloaded the game, installed it, and launched it, and it has connected to our server. So this is up and running. Everything is ready and looking really good here. So I'm going to stop this over here and jump back over, and we'll finish up on the other side. All right, we're back on the other server, or the other system. Everything is looking good. While we was gone, the bandit leader decided to beat up on me. We had to knock him out. So everything is uh, moving, moving like it, uh, smooth as butter. Server's up, chat server's up, game is flowing. All right, 
If you have any questions, go ahead and post them down here in the video if you want to, or preferably if you will, jump over to the forum. If you have some issues and you want to uh, ask some questions or something's wrong, post them over there and some of the other guys can help us out if we can help figure out what's wrong. Be glad to work with you. This is a really good kit. I'd like to thank CodeSpark for all his uh, hard work and getting everything up and running. Great, great kit. And I guess that covers all of it for now and we'll just close it out from here and we got everything going. All right, the next video I'm going to be looking at terrain. We was going to do models but they're going to be doing some something with the character customizer which would be very interesting because I want to see what they're going to do there. So we're going to look at some terrain next, see about getting some terrain imported in because we're ready. We have everything running. We know everything base running is working. So let's start editing. Let's get some content in there and let's build the game. All right, thank you guys for tuning in here. If you have any questions, like I said, or comments, go ahead, throw them below. If uh, something I need to change, be sure to let me know because I am nowhere near perfect. I appreciate you watching and I appreciate your support. All right, we'll talk with you later. Nemo Dane, out.